So a big question that a lot of people have had is how much SHIB has actually been burned by Shibarium? How much are actually being accumulated in, fee in fees? And finally, finally, we are getting this information. Now, I do have to say, these numbers, they're bullshit, all right? <laughs> we need to make some changes as a community, all right? I, I get it, guys. I'm right there with you. So what we've seen so far is that the accumulated bone from these burn fees has equated to 0.51 bone or 41 cents. <laughs> it's very tiny, guys. <laughs> it's very tiny. I get it, okay? The amount of transactions needed to reach the $25,000 threshold, which is right down here, guys. Remember, the $25,000 is what we need to accumulate oh, before we actually burn any SHIB is 6 quadrillion, 651 trillion, 125 billion, 8 million, 64,591 more transactions until we get to that point. That is obviously an insane amount and changes do need to be made. Now, the interesting thing is that SHIB burn did say you may have noticed our previous estimate on Shibarium wasn't too far off based on the average fee at first until yesterday when the tracker calculated blocks from last week. The transactions during that time, especially around September 12th and 13th, had significantly higher gas fees, with some using 60% to 70% of the gas limit. So what we are seeing is that as there is increased network load, the fees are going up. So that's at least a good sign. How much uh, you know that equates to at that point, we really don't know, right? It, it seems like it's just a little bit of a surge based on where we're at. And if you remember, the 12th and 13th were two of the higher days in terms of transactions. Now, we've kind of come back down to earth here. We're only doing about 40,000 transactions a day, but the change has got to be made, all right? I understand that, you know, we are going to see an increase when, you know, certain things roll out, when we get the actual decks over to Shibarium, you know, Shiba Swap, when the metaverse goes live, when we have stable coins go live, when there's wallets that go live, and there's a lot of projects that get launched. All this stuff is going to benefit with the adoption, but we still need to have significant burns. All right. That still does need to be addressed at some period of time, because I'll tell you what, you know, 51 cents in in burns when we need to get twenty five thousand dollars. It's it's never going to happen. All right. If it took us, what, two, three weeks, four weeks, if it took us four weeks to accumulate 50 cents, how long do you think it's going to take us to get to twenty five thousand dollars? Very long period of time. So I think it's bullshit. I think that we need to address this as a community and get it rectified in some way, shape, or form. There is a there is a way that you can have huge adoption for Shibarium and you can burn SHIB at the same time. All right. The two can go hand in hand without you know creating too much too much in fees. It's it's a 100 percent possible. All right. Based on the fees that we're seeing now, you can definitely get to significant burns without having this insane fee or, or, you know, pushing people away from the chain or things of that nature. So I appreciate you guys. I just wanted to share this again. I thought these numbers were, were BS and I wanted to uh, express my opinion on that. I'd love to hear what you guys think, but appreciate you guys as always. Hopefully you are having a great start to your Friday. Show your love below and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.